Of who? Competition. Sokolich and Volkers. No, no, I don't mean his poster, uh, posters. Oh. I'm I in so Fort, we're lost. in Fort Lee. Uh, our mayor, Sokolich, just won the election. He's going to be mayor again for, I don't know how many, two years, something like that. I guess they don't have term limits, which is fine, you know. Um, I always say, like, that guy should probably be on the news more. Because for term, the, I think that they can yeah, be mayors think so. until they're dead. Mayor for life. As long as they get voted in. Yeah, as long as they get voted in. Um, yes, but what I was saying is I don't see any Republican. Uh, yeah, there was. There was a sign right next to his. A big red tomato. Use the right space. To turn right on Central Boulevard. Um, yeah, so anyway, today's Friday. Yo. Six. Six sales. Three and ten apply. Maybe I'll miles. hit them all. It's not too late. Yeah, it's like 11. You know, there it is. More succulent, succulent. See, boss, that's the Republican. Oh, my God. I, I thought I thought that was Democrat. Because it's it's blue. He, it's blue, and it's underneath a succulent sign. So what the hell? <laughs> It's like they don't have the money that he has because he's been mayor for a while. Nah, he's, yeah, he's got the support. And he's Nobody in likes real change. In this town. And he's a lawyer. Nobody you know, likes change. And so he's got the money to. I'm telling you. Well, it's a democratic town. Well, see, the citizens might want change, but the 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 people that are doing the business that are don't us want the change. The choice of sucks. No, it's not even that too. The, they don't want change. They want like um, they want everybody to be this way, not that way. They don't like when somebody says, "Hey, I got some radical new ideas." You know, they're like, "No, everything's working for us right now." No, it's not. Well, I'm, when I say us, I don't mean you and me, us. Uh, I mean, but like, even for people that have money right now, they're be. saying I've been hearing on the news that they're saying that people who make a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars a year are still just making ends meet. Well, that's a lot when of it's based kid, on where you live too. Right, you know, my parents. The idea of making a hundred thousand dollars a year was like that would be to them was like making a million dollars. When when I was in Florida, mm -hmm. I was like we could be broke for like I don't know thirty thousand. When I was in Jersey, I was like we could be broke at fifty thousand. So it's just different, you know. So if you make a hundred thousand, odds are you'll figure out how to you know you'll you'll choose a more apart uh, you'll choose a better bigger house or apartment. You know, you'll you'll drive a better car, a higher lease. Well, no, you need more insurance. All the you know. If you're making a hundred, two hundred thousand, that means you went for schooling. Mm -hmm. Okay, doctors, lawyer, whatever. Yeah. Uh, business, whatever. Um, so your your school bills are high. Yeah. What you owe school. So they're saying that with these high mortgages, you know, with the expensive houses now, the high mm -hmm. mortgages, the high interest, the high, you know, having to pay back their school, they're just making ends meet. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm and saying. It's like, the and when you have more money, you just have more expensive stuff. Well, you yeah, have a that, better car. That I never got. You yeah. know, when, when you have a lot of money, people go out there and they want to buy the biggest house and the fanciest yeah. car. But yeah, they'll have but a bigger the, family, the more kids in no, college. No, no, no. But the problem is that the fancier car costs more to fix. Yep. The bigger house costs more to maintain. Yep. And you're just putting out more money. Yeah, you can it's make like, like 200000 a year and, and technically be broke. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, a, it's your lifestyle. It's, you know, you you can make 200000 a year and live in a trailer, you know what I mean? And and pocket, like, you know, maybe 150 a year, still live pretty good, you know, or you could have a... Well, honestly, if I was making... I would not want to live in a trailer, unless it was one of them double... That's, that's what I'm saying. So it's all about, like, you have money, you're like, I don't want to live in a trailer. You know, I want to live in, and like... And I, I wouldn't want to have my own property. Yeah, I, now it's like, now I want my own property. Yeah. Even if it's nicer trailers. So you get what I'm saying, right? That's like uh, if you make like 200000 a year, you're like, you know what? I'm going to drive a Tesla, <laughs> you know, or or uh, I'm going to like, like live in a, uh, a big house or I'll well, live in a city. I remember or, you know. that once I had to go to the dealership. I forget which dealership it was. Yeah. But uh, I had to get something fixed on the car that had to go to the, I think yeah. it was the hydraulics and the, in the, the, or the pistons or something in the mm -hmm. back. The hood. Use the right uh, lane to turn right. Door. Yeah. And uh, I'm sitting there, and the guy's on the phone with somebody who bought one of their high-end cars. Yeah. And they just sent it in for their, like, 5,000-mile checkup or whatever it was. Yeah. Something like that. And um, maybe it was a 10,000. I don't know. It no was matter. just, you know, a, a, you know, an over... Oil just change. Just check it yeah, out. Yeah, tune up. Turn right and, on. And, uh... He quoted a price of like two grand. Yeah. 
And it's like the person on the yeah. person on the other end, I can feel them fainting. Like, yeah. why is a tune up or whatever that much money? Yeah. And he said, Well, right you know, you got those platinum headed spark plugs. Right. And they all were replaced, and they're yep. two fifty a piece. Boom. And it's like, grand. whoa. Yeah. But see, that's what happened. Like when you go to higher end cars or foreign cars or whatever. Yeah. The parts have to be imported. The part, you know. Yeah, it's like you have a nice house. Now you want nice furniture. You have a small apartment. You don't need that much furniture. You know, just think it. It's like. Well, the electricity on a bigger house. The water there you on go. a bigger house. Now, the, now you're, the, you're, you're the getting taxes it. on a bigger house yep. because the house is worth more money. You have to pay more taxes. Yep. You know, so there's a there's a lot. These are new. Uh, That's what they do here. They knock something down. They build some, put something up. I mean, in one thousand feet, uh, turn right. We're almost at this. Point. Are we? All right. So anyway, it's supposed to be multifamily. Okay. I mean, maybe I'll just get some random stuff for flea market or or maybe the store. I don't uh, know. It looked like fancy furniture. It looked <sighs> and the way the furniture looked, it looks like younger people. All right, we'll see. Because we'll see. it wasn't. But I was hoping that they had other things. Besides. I'm sure they do. You know, they're probably pushing the furniture because that's what they want to move. Look, there's there's the nest where all the parrots live. There's another one. Oh there. yeah, the parrot nests. Right up there. All right, we we're here at our destination. Uh, what on on? Okay, we spent 30 bucks. Um, part of the 30 was these two mirrors, right? 30 bucks. I don't know who that it's signed. Maybe you could read it. Uh, I bought this bucket. That was part of the 30. This is like a side and tricker type Santa Claus plate. Oh, I bought some coffee mugs. Oh, no, that's good. That's good. Let's get crazy. I bought some mugs. Um, what's this? Oh, these are Christmas plates. I bought a couple of these. Same thing. Yeah, that's why I don't have to put bags. I bought the mug so I don't have to put bag. Oh, these are cool. They have a little pouch for What, two of these? I'm not gonna show the other one. Oh, they have a little pouch for it? Okay, well, just uh, put them in here or, or if it's gonna be jewelry. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Put it here and there. Okay, uh, this is probably another coffee mug. This is all like last uh I'm gonna get a bucket. Oh yeah, that's the other. That's the other one. Sorry, I don't know what this is. But... Oh there it is. So as you can see, they actually wrapped it nice. Uh what two of these plates. Again, everything was 30 bucks. Um, I don't know what this is for. But it's got it says U.S. Polar Wear Company, so I need that for I'm gonna put that here. All right. Um, this is, oh, this is probably some kind of bowl. Yeah, maybe got a crystal sugar bowl. I don't know if it's signed or something on the bottom. She liked it. It's three bucks. Got a heart on top. This pipe was a dollar. This is like random cheap eBay or flea market stuff. You know, low, usually low value. Let's see what this is. Oh, uh, this, uh, that's probably Gobo? And it's Mary. Uh, that should be great for the holidays. Christmas coming There's probably other coffee mug. Yeah, it was, it's a USA coffee mug. I have a friend that does candles. Um, I told him if I can get him coffee mugs, like 50 cents a piece, I'll buy them. And that's a smiley one. I go to all these sales. And then you can put the candles in the mug. What's this? Oh, this is this. This is either a Blanco or a Viking or Pilgrim. Looks to be in good shape. That might be it. 
Um, we got a little bit of jewelry. Uh, I just got like one piece of jewelry. It's gotta be here. Yeah. This was the last mug. It's it's a cat. And she liked this wood necklace. You know what? Let me take I'll take these two things and I'll give it to her. So she can have a jewelry together. Okay, that's it. I've been to two sales, uh, three sales, and I bought stuff at two sales. This is Hadley, M.A. Hadley. Um, I, they had four. This could be like 40 bucks or so, something like that. Um, these are Villaray and Bosch, I guess, uh, egg cups. Uh, got little chickens on it. Look, there's some yolk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they have chips? No, no, no. I said yolk. yolk. I don't see any chips. I mean, what's this? Uh, no, I, I don't see. I don't see any chips. That's fine. Um, Villaray and Bosch. There it is. There. Marie believes uh, these are worth about twenty-five. Uh, I forget. Let me see. Okay. Then I got these two little, uh, very pretty Murano paperweights. They have um, the gold in the back. They're Millefury. They're small. Uh, I don't see any damage. And then Marie will show me her jewelry in a minute. These are both very pretty. I don't know what I'll get for these. I can probably get like 25 or so a piece. They're small, but they're nice. Here on replacements.com, they're 28 bucks a piece. 28 a piece. So maybe you can get like 35 to 40 for the two? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, sounds good. For the two. Even, Just whatever. Yeah. Them around the house. Yeah. Uh, Marie's going to show me the jewelry and put it in the bag as she goes along. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were ready. Nope, oh, oh. get that. All right, this is the jewelry Marie got. This is Le Liz Claiborne. We paid forty-two for everything, right? Yeah. It's pretty. I don't know what that sells for. Uh, somebody has it on for forty, but I okay, so probably this thirty. This is for. MMA, and that one's MMA. Yeah, that, and so there were two MMAs. These guys, MMA is usually Maybe like twenty and up, right? There's a, just kind of an abstract it, but... animal and, of course, old Saint Nick. What was this? I don't know. It has something written on the back, but okay. it's a nice looking pin. Um, these are just hair uh, they're pins? They're hair pins. Yeah, they're, they're hair nice. uh, bobby, bobby pins. pins. But yeah. they're, they're old. They're, they're enamel. They're enamel and little and rhinestones. And they have rhinestones, yeah. Mm -hmm. missing, so. That's seed just a bead. handmade piece yeah. that I thought was cool. That's nice. Seed bead. Uh, this and is probably another. And that's just a black... Uh, what do I you don't call think it? it's jet. I no, think but it's just black glass. When people die. Oh, morning jewelry? I yeah, don't know. I, I would say know. it. I mean, the, back, it. the back doesn't look old if you look at the back. The back looks 60s. Yeah, so that's not morning. Maybe a little earlier. Well, people mourn. And that I just like because when I first saw it. Nothing on it? It was down here. But oh, then I, I was see. like, wait a minute. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a it's a lariat. Lariat, yeah, okay. It's a ladies' but lariat, it's nice right? because it's got you know the little dangly. Oh, it's definitely nice. Yeah. It's like a ladies' lariat, right? Yeah. Let me take a picture. Oops. See. I'll take my finger. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Next sale. Uh, what did you get? Just They're put it right here so I can see. On, it. Okay. To... All right. I'll show what I uh, bought this for our friend. He does candles. He's gonna put candles in them. These are cool. They're very pretty. Four. Those were a buck a piece. We spent, uh, I spent 20, 29, uh, B-52s. I spent 25 for the record. Some are for the flea markets, Aerosmith. Believe it or not, this Hendrix, it's only worth like 10 to 15. Doors, I can always get like 10 to 15 for something like that. This one might be worth listing on eBay because I, I found a seven inch one and it was like 25 to 30. So this is, this looks like a full album. This is, this is more than seven inches. It's like 12 inch vinyl. And I couldn't find a way to search. I'm gonna have to look harder for that one. Uh, this is most likely for the flea market. This is probably the flea market in this, but it's the doors. I mean, the doors are easy to, I paid 25 for, for everything that's 10. Maybe 25, maybe 35, maybe eBay. So I'll say 30 eBay. So what do I say 35, 65. Yeah, uh, say another 15. Oh, uh, what do I say? 65, 70, 80, 90. Uh, maybe 100, uh, 105 at least. That's what I think. 
All right, and tell me, uh, what did our friend bring in, game-wise? It was like loose stuff, right? Resident Evil for the GameCube. And then it was, uh, yeah, that's a really good game. You know that? Those, uh, the, what, uh, the one with uh, Alien? Yeah. Uh, Randy Orion. And so how much, well, I'm not going to ask how much, but so do I owe you anything for this? Or is this, no? Okay. What's this? I put it in a comic book? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Nice. So this is actually what came in. Resident Evil for the GameCube. And uh, Destroy All Humans 1 and 2.